E. Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to... Oh, uh-huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? She's got a Webster's Dictionary. Hmm. Why is it... All right, I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. Good God! <coughs> You're welcome. I could have coughed during that whole silence, but I was trying not to. It could have benefited us to just cut it out. Oh, I'm just looking. Thanks. Take your time, dear. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. <laughs> what is this puzzle box you have here in the corner? <laughs> Can I complete it? Fucking. <laughs> By the way, they were Pinhead called, they were called the Cinnabites. Cinnabites, that was it. Yeah, we. Uh, I we, forget about that. We knew their fucking name. Cinnabites. We just forgotten about it. I knew it had ites. Yeah. Ites. And I knew it was like a weird way. Yes? Hi. I'm Adrian Delaney. I just you you introduce yourself in this um, second. I was wondering if you could maybe you... tell me. Did you say your name was? You're not a writer, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Why did you answer with another question? I think it's going to take a little getting used to. Well, I don't envy you. Now, why do you say that? You know, people act very strange when I tell them I bought the Carnivash estate. Monsters. It's no wonder. It's rumored to be haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? No. Of course not. <laughs> you just heard the fucking baby! The ghost of Karno oh. supposedly haunts the place. Oh, no. It's not even supposed to be safe to live there. Be safe to live there? Has anybody ever been hurt? Did you stutter while reading the script? God forbid, killed there? I don't remember any deaths, but plenty of injuries. Over the years, the people who owned the place used to bring workmen in to fix things up. But invariably, some bizarre accident would occur. One man had his arm chopped off. Another man tumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. He was paralyzed for life. God, that's terrible. Maybe these men were just careless. That could be. Even so, you be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. Sure. I'm very curious. Has anybody at all lived in the Carnivash estate since Carno's death? I'm really not sure. The Templeton family bought the place about ten years after Carno's death. That would have been around, oh, 1910. There was talk of turning it into a museum. Electricity was added, but 
Because of a rash of injuries and bizarre events, it never came about. What, has anybody at all lived in the house before us? I really don't think so. The Templetons never seemed to show any interest about the place. Uh, I think they were bothered by the reputation the estate had. Anyway, it just seemed to sit there and be handed down from father to son to grandson. It's very interesting. Thanks. No problem. You know, for someone who offers a lot of information on the subject, you don't seem to know much about it. <laughs> I'm a baller woman. Hello? Hi there. Hi. I'm very curious about Carno. Wasn't he a world-renowned illusionist? He sure was. Carno was in his prime in the 1880s and 90s. He traveled all over the world with an extravagant magic show. Uh, we probably wouldn't be very impressed by it today, but back then they sure were. But I've heard that his magic acts tend to be a bit on the darker side. Of course, I yes, have that impression. But do you know what he was like as a yeah, man? Yeah, he's gonna put a quarter in his body and move it through. <laughs> very secretive. So that's the walk on water. Also, no, not even his wives. <laughs> I remember that. They actually had ice cube blocks for it. Exactly. How many wives did he have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. What? He's married five times, I think. All of them from the theater circuit. Most of them were in his magic show. His acting is... Why so many? What happened to them? Goodness, you are full of questions, aren't you? Well, let me see. Two or three of them died, and as for the others, uh, I don't know. One thing about Carno, though, that has never been proven or disproven. It is rumored he was into the black arts. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, thanks for your time. Sure, you're welcome. Oh, my God. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello. So much. Sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little girl, I think. Something happened okay, to something her, but I can't remember what. Relevant. Why? Oh, that's okay. I, was I wish they would just simplify it to the point. All right. Have a nice day. Me too. I'm going to simplify it for you. By not telling you. <laughs> Excuse me, Lou. Hello, Adrian. Can I help you? Well, I've been thinking about Carno. Do you know how he died? I don't know the details, but one night, Carno and his wife Marie had a violent argument, after which they both lay dead. The police found them the next morning. That was in the late 1890s. Webster's. <laughs> Yeah, I said that. <laughs> oh, I didn't there notice it. I thought you said Webster's. On your property, along with Marie. Now that's a scary thought. Oh, he can't harm you now. Unless, of course, you believe in ghosts. Well, I don't. Carno's dead and gone. Of course, dear, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. Don't mention it. How many times are you gonna make this old lady get out? Until the red thing oh stops. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> now we're just indirectly trying to ask questions. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no thanks. Just looking around. Okay, let me know if you need me. Okay. <laughs> See? This guy fucking gemstones. I'm just back. <laughs> Thank you.